association has improved its offerings in the industry. Uh, first and foremost, women in leasing. Uh, that's made such a tremendous impact in the organization, actually across the entire uh, marketplace. Because when it started, it was very focused on how do we promote women in the industry, and it was a lot of women in that forum. But a few years ago, Lori Frazier took over that organization, uh, spearheaded it, and opened it up to not just women, but men. And I think it's really important if we're going to do anything around diversity that we don't avoid including white males. Because white males are in a lot of positions of authority in financial services, and if you exclude them, it's harder to move the ball down the field. Where we haven't done as well is on the ethnic diversity side. Um, and that's now become probably our biggest focus. And it's, it's really easy for me to make an excuse to say, well, our company's headquartered in the suburbs of Denver. It's not an overly diverse area. But that just means you have to try harder. Uh, and by trying harder, it means that you create more diverse slate of candidates. Uh, really important to tell your recruiters, I expect some level of diversity when you're presenting candidates to me. And I also think it's really important to make sure that when you're interviewing those candidates, it's not the usual suspects that are interviewing those candidates. You put a diverse slate to be the interview panel. And guess what? Our clients are more diverse. Um, the people that work at the organizations that we're financing, some are Fortune 50 companies. The purchasing managers, the executives at those organizations are more diverse. And if we continue to promulgate the same type of people at our organization and don't diversify our workforce, we're not going to be properly representing our clients. So I think to really focus our efforts on getting a leadership team in an industry that's more representative of the incoming workforce and what our client's incoming workforce looks like is gonna be really important. The most important thing of the balance of having a more diverse workforce is that you, and, and a more diverse leadership team, is that you get diverse ideas. You get a diversity of thought. Uh, so when you put like-minded people who had similar experiences, they're gonna come up with the same type of innovations, the same responses to crises. Um, and when you think about gravitating toward more diverse people in the organization, you're gonna create a diversity of ideas and thought that maybe didn't exist in the organization before.